Good afternoon. Welcome back again. Hey, it's the Trigger Rich Bontrager. Just giving you a little brief coaching for a little bit here today. Yesterday, we were talking about running the show. We're all running our shows, our virtual events. We're trying to figure out how to pack in as much information as we can and doing it in a way that makes sense to people and it will click and it will connect. Yesterday, I gave you the idea of the run of show clock and how to best make a run of show clock. It really is a clock and you plug in the different elements you want around the clock. If you want an example of what a clock looked like, contact me, rich at richbontrager.net, and I'll show you what the clock looks like absolutely free. The other version of run of show, which is way more detailed, is for summits. It's for virtual events. It's for week-long like hybrids that you want to do. But this is a great way to run a show, and it's not that hard. But it will save you in so many ways, you know, what elements come, who's speaking next, what bumper is going to go in between, what's your transition, how long do you have for a lunch break, and so many other things. Start with an open spreadsheet. Use a Google Docs, whatever you want to use for this, and come up with your different days, if it's going to be a three-day event, but your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then. And on the left side of the column, you start plugging in the different times of your speakers. Start with your speakers. You know that they're going to speak from 1 to 1.30 or from 2.30 to 3. Start plugging in those times like that. Then you're going to add cells in as well to block off when your lunch break is going to be. Will it be at noon? Will it be a half hour? Will it be 40 minutes? But here's where it gets tricky. You want to add into your run of show who's going to announce lunch break. You're literally going to put in like a five-minute buffer before the lunch break and say, Rich is going to send everyone to lunch today. And he gets to do a little brief, little hi, how's it going, energize people. But it's got to be five minutes or less to get them on the lunch. And you break out every element that you're going to do. If you have an intro bumper that you're going to play before someone goes on stage to speak, you put that intro bumper in there. Even if it's 15 seconds, 30 seconds, you want to put that in so everyone knows. Now, this is great for everyone on your team. This is great for your showrunner, which again, I highly recommend the bigger your event, you need a designated showrunner, the other producer of the event. It may not be the creator. It may not be the keynote speaker. You may hand those things off to somebody. So their job is to keep everyone else on point. This is great for your video team. Your video team will know exactly what elements are coming and in what order. So they have order and they're not scrambling. By the way, big note. Huge asterisk, but a big star on this part of it. Any elements you want a speaker to give, if they're going to have a video, if they're going to have a spreadsheet, if they're going to have a PowerPoint on the stage showing on screen, it must be to your technical crew. And this is part of running show. This is part of communication, which we'll go into more. But you want that at least a week, if not 10 days before any event. That's your drop dead date. We'll talk more about why that's so important as you build out your run of show. Your run of show will even include if you have an opening, a pre-event, a breakfast, a coffee, or if you have post-events. You want your run of show to encapsulate everything you're doing for your event in micro blocks of time that everyone knows they're on the same page. They're all working together. Oh, and when someone gets sick, when the plane doesn't arrive on time, when something happens, everyone can get on the phone, text, phone call scribble out, change, but your flow remains one run of show contact. This is vital for success. Virtual events, this is really, really vital for virtual events or hybrid events because you're not all on the ground together. That run of show will save you. And believe me, it saved me over the years as well. If you want to learn more about run of show, reach out to me, rich at richbontrigger.net, or feel free to contact me through the website, rockthestagemedia.com. Hey, I'll be back tomorrow with more insights and better help you rock the stage because it's all about your brand authority. It's all about helping you to amplify your message and your brand so people will click, like, follow, and do business with you. We'll see you tomorrow.